Stanley Ratifo, a 28-year-old Mozambican striker who is currently playing for, let me read, CFR Flozheim. I don't even know if I'm reading that right. But this guy was scouted by the Chiefs when he was playing the Afghan qualifier uh, for in Mozambique against in Rwanda at FNP. It seems like that's a trend that they do. They observe players when they're playing in these continental uh, matches and then they scout them and then they bring them to Ama trials, which is the same thing that happened with this guy. So he trialed with the Chiefs in December and he ended up leaving the Chiefs. But there could be a reason why that happened. And we'll talk about that later on in the video. But right now, I'll just give you a master attack. First of all, he's the center forward, right? But he also can play as a right winger and a left winger. And we've talked about how much he achieves needs players who are versatile and they can play across all that front rim. That would be the advantage of signing him. But that's not all. Because if you look at his stats overall, he has played 236 games, he has 53 goals and, 83, and 18 assists, which means in a 30-game season, he would have like 10 goals and assists in a season. That's a good return for EPSL, given which other players will also be contributing to a team. Uh, but this season, he has only played six, he has appeared 16 times and he has played, uh, he has scored three goals and has only one assist which means he has a goal in every two games. But that's also another issue that we'll talk about to Guti, what is actually happening in his team right now. Now, let's look at the pros and look at the cons of actually signing the said player. The first pro is the fact that when I watched what I watched from him is that he looks like a very comfortable player on the ball, which is something that I've been saying about Tichi Suguti. It seems like most of our players are not that comfortable on the ball, the only player who looks like they're comfortable on the ball is Umtu, but he's not going to do it on his own. Yes, no Sahel is comfortable, but Umtu just looks way more comfortable than the rest of the players that Ikeza achieves has. And another thing is that he's capable of dribbling players and just moving past them. And that's good because if I don't have a clear passing person that I can pass the ball to, then they become problematic because they end up losing the ball easily. We've seen this and we've complained about this when we see Abu Mat losing the ball easy. Okay, Leb just doesn't know what to do with the ball, sometimes even handles it. Obanjalu Caleb. So he is a good dribbler and he can just take on players, which again fits to the fact that he is a dribbler. Another thing, he's a very mobile person. He's a very mobile striker. Which, once again, fits so good if you're playing him through the middle, he can drop to the midfield, collect the ball, and also go forward. But at the same time, he can drift wide, go collect the ball, take the players on, and go forward. And you're going to need a player who's mobile, since you have a Caleb who's not that mobile. You have Usail, who we are actually playing as a right winger. So basically, you are not playing U -u 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 Usail as a center forward, which means you basically need another center forward. And technically, he is good. I've seen him take my shots, and I see Uguti better than Okeleb again. Because you will, you'll never even get a chance to take a shot on goal if you can't even turn around with the ball, Caleb. But if you look at this guy, he is doing better than that, and he also can play with both his feet. But what about his cons? Because saying Kulmele and Amaprozak and all of those things. But before I go to Amakons, please guys do like the video. It helps me to reach more people like you. So if you like the video, more people will see the video. Amakons, obviously, of this player is number one. He's playing in lower league in Germany. And I know Guti, it would be like, oh no, but Vele PSL is a lower league if you compare it to a Premier League and blah, blah, blah. But in his career, he has never played in top flight. And imagine from moving to, because some of the videos that you watch, he's playing like good stadium that you see with Ngati Nabantu about less than a thousand here. But then ask Arrow's players, they will tell you what they are used to that. So if you can also make up a highlight of someone who's playing for Arrow's, then you would say, oh, looks like he's not used to playing under pressure. And then they call the PT Chiefs in front of their 50,000 fans. So that might not be a big deal, but it is there. Uguti's never played in top flight. And the other problem for Chiefs, 
the reason why they could have rejected him is the fact that his his his, uh, his contract basically ends in 2024 and that means Itimiake might have wanted some more money for him to be released to Chiefs but then again it does not make sense because if you think about it this player let's look at his minutes this season has only played 538 minutes 538 minutes 16 appearance yes but 538 minutes, which means it's just brought on here and there, here and there, here and there. Which, when you convert and check within those 538 matches, he has scored four goals. He has scored and assisted in four goals, which basically means still a good return, Yoguti. He will assist or score a goal every two games that he plays. So it's a it's a return. It's something. But still, the Chiefs could have just rejected him because they thought he wasn't good enough. Now, since the Chiefs besides Uguti, they might not want to pay the money for the player. There is also just Uguti. Uh, why did they reject him in the first place, right? Let's just say Aksimal. Maybe they just think he's not good enough for the other reasons that I gave. However, they saw him play for Mozambique, um, for Mozambique, and they thought he was impressive. So, once again, it tells you Uguti they saw something and they're impressed by something. And again. This other reason is the fact that he's not playing this season. Why? It's a lower league and we're already not playing. What is the reason for that? It's not like we are playing in some high-level league and you are not being signed. You are not being played because there are better players. But it's a lower league, which then says, how are you going to handle a pressure at Kaiser Chiefs if you are failing to even start in a lower league team, right? If you're still watching to this point, please do make sure to leave a comment and share this video with your people on social media. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. And until next time, remember, equals, I'll pay you more.